Let's see how we can install FSR3 into Assassin's Creed Mirage without resorting to the traditional copy-paste method. Once set up, you can effortlessly install Luke's FSR3 mod into selected games. Don't forget to watch the entire video. I'll include a comparison video at the end. So, if you learn anything from this video, please like and subscribe. Let's dive in. First, download the file using the link provided in the description and extract it. In this folder, I've already installed Luke's latest mod so you lazy folks don't have to do it yourselves. When you first open the program, you'll find instructions on how to install the modded files through the wizard. It's a simple process and you should follow it when Luke releases a new update. Now, go to the other tab here. Currently, only these games are supported by the wizard. For other games, you'll have to use the traditional method to install the mod. As you can see, when I select the game, it automatically fills in the required options for me. That's the beauty of this wizard. The only thing you have to do is find the game's location. You only need the folder location. You don't have to locate the application itself. Then hit the install button. That's it. If you want to uninstall the files, simply tick these options and hit uninstall. It's that easy. Before booting the game, make sure to disable the Ubisoft game overlay. Go to the settings and set up the upscaling method to DLSS. You'll need to restart the game once. Currently, there's no fix for the ghosting or flickering HUD issue yet. However, the game runs well. You can choose the TIA upscaling method to eliminate the HUD issue and maintain the generated FPS, but it feels like playing on 30 FPS. There's a better way to generate frames. Lossless scaling software. However, it has some issues. The software works, but I can't record anything with it. When it's fixed, I'll make a video. It's promising. That's it. Like and subscribe. Have a nice day.